welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Danielle, and today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This beautiful thing right here. Um, been having so much fun with it today. I did kind of this summary eye look. Um, pretty simple to do, but yeah, the only I don't know. I love this palette. I've used it for the past week since I've got it, and I absolutely like. I enjoy it so much. It has everything that you'll ever need in it. I highly recommend it. Um, I will just say the packaging of it is pretty. At first, you're like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Like, you go, Jaclyn Hill. But still, you're like, you go, Jaclyn Hill. But um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting pretty dirty from touching it with hands after I do my foundation. I don't know if you can tell. See all those dirty fingerprints, and you cannot wipe. That's the only downside I can really see to it. But yeah, if y'all want to see this video, just keep watching. And hey, y'all. Okay, um, we're gonna get right into this video. So, so here it is. Oh my gosh! Like if that doesn't just call your name, then I don't know what to tell you. But it definitely calls my name. So we're gonna start off. I'm gonna pull my hair back. All right, I'm gonna pull y'all closer. To start off, I'm gonna prime my eyes with this um, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. I'm gonna use my finger to do that. It's gonna be our primer. My mirror's off to the side, so if I'm looking that way, I'm sorry. I have not gotten my setup quite down. Like Y'all should see it right now, it's quite pitiful. But we're getting there, we're getting there. We'll be there one day, guys. I'm gonna look back in a year from now and be like, what in the heck was I doing? But you know, we're on the struggle bus right now. Then I am just gonna take this, um, my palette, it's a Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Powder. I'm just gonna take this on a big old brush and we're just gonna put this all over my eyes just to set it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the color Creamsicle as like my um, transition shade. And the thing, it's more of like a yellowy orange um, color, but we're just gonna take that and just buff it everywhere. I'm going for like a summery, um, I'm going to take the color um, pooter it's like a kind of like a darker it's a brownie color but we're just gonna take that and put that right in our crease so I am going to take the color um, Hunts, which is like a reddish orange color. It's not the red, red, like I think that's, yeah. Sorry, I have the card right here next to me so I can read the name. So I'm like, oh, what was that name? Since they're not on the palette, which kind of sucks for like people that want to be like, oh, this is what I'm using. I don't know. And I heard a lot of people or like my sister, she did not receive a card with hers. And in mine, I received two cards. So I mean... I think it's hit or miss if you get a card or if you don't um but anyways there's just a side note i don't i don't know if yours came with a card i'm really focusing this one kind of on the outer edge and blending it and then whatever it's left that i put right here i just kind of drum since i don't put foundation on since I do my eyeshadow like before I put foundation on anything else. I like to do that because I can clean up the line with my foundation, with my concealer, whatever. If I messed up anywhere, like you can just clean it up. So I know it's going to look messy right now. But once I come back on with everything pretty much done, um, y'all will see. Now when you got this orangey, kind of crazy looking eye, <laughs> to be honest, I'm going to take the first brush that I went in, that big bobby brush, and I'm just going to take that and kind of just make sure everything's blended together. So 
So I'm going to take the color Roxanne. It's the very maroony red color in the palette. So we're going to take that. It's the center shade in the palette. And take that. I'm going to focus it on the outer corner. And then I'm going to... It's really going to be focused in the outer corner just to kind of deepen the look up. I will say though, like a little goes a long way with these eyeshadows. They are very pigmented. And I use brushes for like the max eyeshadows, like my transition shades, all those kind of shades. But, um... Like you'll see here in a second, I'm for the lid shade. I'm gonna use my finger because I think Jaclyn Hill said in her like swatch video that those shades are way better with um, with your fingers, and I completely 100% agree. Literally, get this palette and feel it when it comes back in stock. Like just put your finger in one of the shades. It's not like I have the Anastasia um, Ron Renaissance palette. I have quite a few palettes and I've never felt a palette like so creamy to feel. I mean they're awesome palettes. Yeah the Modern Renaissance palette is amazing. Um, don't get me wrong like I still love that palette but like the feel and touch is just so different and it's actually like really good. Like I'm super impressed with it. But I'm just going to take that for the art blending brush pretty much. Just this pretty much clean. Had a little bit of that yellowy color on it, but it's okay. I'm going to go in with the color Obsessed. Okay. Just to tell you a little bit about this color, I'm literally obsessed about it. Like, I use this on my inner corner if I don't put any eyeshadow on for the day because it's just like a natural kind of look. I use it on the inner corner just to brighten my eyes up, I guess. I use it pretty much with every eye look. I'm just going to take that, of course, with my finger like it's oh so amazing so I'm gonna take this and pat it I'm putting that all over my lids probably honestly I'll probably add more than on later but this is without a glitter glue without anything this is just with my finger like do y'all see that I oh, can't I can't express enough how much I love this it's gonna blend the edges out I'm gonna take hunts I'm gonna take it I'm just gonna kind of focus it more in the outer portion of my eye and of course we're going to go back in with the Roxanne color just to keep that deeper outer corner look now we're going to take this big old blending brush we're just going to blend 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 Alright, then I'm going to take more of the Obsessed shade. I'm just going to tap it right here in the middle. And just So I made sure we didn't lose any of it. Any of Alright. Come back on for my lower lash line and lipstick. But I'm going to go do the foundation and the rest of my face. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright, y'all. So um, I finished my foundation, bronzer, highlighter, everything like that. So I'm going to zoom y'all back in. And we're gonna do the lower lash line okay so to do the lower lash line I'm gonna take a one is gonna be like a flat shader brush just to get the dark color right under there second one's gonna be like a pointed it's gonna take um, the color pooter and we're going to run that under our lash line with the because I'm not really being precise with this we just want to run it under the lash always connect it up here all the way up on the shader brush that I'm using and I'm gonna take the color uh, hunt we're gonna just put that under there take 
shade the color um, creamsicle first color we light I'm just gonna blend that out blend it with the creamsicle shade the last color I'm gonna focus um, Roxanne the middle color the darkest color we use on I guess the outer portion so like halfway in and out so we're not gonna go and I'm gonna try to put it right on the lash line all right now we're just gonna use the blending brush again and we're gonna blend So then on the inner corner, I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take, this is the only time I use Obsessed on a brush. So take that Obsessed shade and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Did you see that? Mmm! done with the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm gonna take on my brow bone for my brow highlight I like to take the highlighter I use so this is the highlighter I use the master chrome and molten gold keep my highlight the same as my brow bone so I'm just gonna take that and put that on my brow bone. And this um, highlighter is super super big for mascara I'm gonna go in with this voluminous lash Paradise, and I'm probably gonna speed this up because mascara takes me quite a while. I'm not gonna. Alright, so while I kind of like to slip my top eyelash, just sit there for a second before I do the lower. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I'm just I just use this Anastasia Beverly Hill um, brow gel. That's all I do to my eyebrows. So. Eyebrows done. Now we're just. crazy crazy for mascara all right I'm gonna zoom y'all out and we are gonna do uh, the lips all right so for the lips today I'm gonna go in with um max modesty it's a pretty summer pink shade I would say it kind of center just to kind of you know brighten it up I'm gonna take max mid I'm just gonna kind of tap a little bit all right and then I'm gonna take Revlon just some lip gloss couldn't name the name okay I'm gonna take the Revlon lip gloss and snow pink you guys there you have it um my kind of eye look I would do with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette so if y'all enjoyed this you can give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video bye y'all